Hey guys, this is Silver from the Silver and Shadow Hub, and I'm back again talking about the next Digimon series, which is called Digimon Frontier. Just like Digimon Tamers, this Digimon series is one of my favorites. And just like Digimon Tamers, di this Digimon t series takes place in a whole new reality. Thanks. <laughs> uh, we start off with our hero, heroes, Takuya, Koji, and I forget the other names. Thanks. <laughs> Basically, normal kids, normal life, no human on the planet knows about the digital world or anything like that. They're all doing their normal thing out of nowhere. They get summoned by a strange voice to be to go to the train station and take the train. And just like that, <laughs> they listen to the voice and they all take the train. Not the same train, I think. I don't remember. I haven't seen it in a long time. But they all get on the train. And that's where they all meet each other on the train. Once they once they get on the train, the train takes them to the digital world, where they all look around and they, real honestly, they freak out. Just like Digimon Tamers, this Digimon series it's way different, and the Digivolution is way different. This show, instead of training your own Digimon, they actually turn into Digimon, which I find is fucking awesome. <laughs> They can turn into human spirits, which is basically Digimon that looks human. Or they can turn into beast spirits, which is exactly how it sounds. Digimon, but beast-like looking. And once they arrive there, they, well, do their mission. <laughs> Save the digital world. The story is pretty long. It's three chapters, you could say. Three arcs, whatever. But anyway, on to the good and bad things. The good things I already said. I already said it. I love the way they digivolve. <clears throat> it's completely new, just like Tamers. Completely new heroes, completely new timeline, all that stuff. Another good thing I like about it, <clears throat> like I said, <laughs> the digivolving. They just like every Digimon, they go from regular digivolve to the Mega Evolution, and in this one, they actually do a fusion evolution. Just like uh, the rest of the other ones. Uh, another good thing. Hmm. I think that's it, really. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another good thing is that, just like every other series, they introduce new Digimon. New story. They have fun sometimes. Instead of, like, most of the time, yeah, they go on their adventure. But most of the time, they take a break and they have fun. Some of the characters develop relationships with each other. Not like date each other. But um, like some of the characters become good friends with each other. At first, they don't like each other. like Because they don't know each other. But yeah. <laughs> and point I will point out there's only one girl. <laughs> uh, Alright, now the bad things. <clears throat> the bad things... I don't really have any bad things for this series because I really like this series. In my own opinion, I don't have any bad things. Uh, I'm trying to think of one. <laughs> oh! The bad things is... This, like, uh, if you've watched Digimon Adventure 1 and 2, you can tell those two series... They were fun, yeah. They were cool. But at the same time, they were dark. Like, Digimon would die. Bad stuff would happen. This Digimon series does it worse. Like, this Digimon series, yeah, it's light. Like, it's good and everything. But it's dark at the same time. Because a lot of Digimon do die in this series. Oh. <clears throat> That's all I gotta say, really. Because there's, there's not a lot of bad things. I, I can say about this series. If you want to check it out on the internet, go ahead. <laughs> That's all I gotta say for this Digimon Frontier. I will see you later. Bye-bye. Look to the past as we head for the future to reclaim the digital world. With faith in ourselves and trust in each other.